Why did the Shangxi people insist on blowing up the Sanmengxia Dam built with 4 billion yuan? Is it a feat or a failure? In this video, let us learn more about it. Sanmengxia, a dam spans the Yellow River. A magnificent project costing 4 billion, the Chinese praised it as the first dam of the Yellow River in thousands of miles. However, people in Xi'an, Shangxi province complained it should have been blown up long ago. A dam clearly divides two groups of people. There are praises and complaints. What impact will the Sanmengxia Dam costing 4 billion to build on Xi'an? Is it a feat or a failure? Before 1938, floods in the upper reaches of the Yellow River in China would occur almost every year, bringing devastating disasters to Hunan and Shandong provinces and even to the lower reaches. In June of that year, in order to block the Japanese army from advancing westward, the nationalist government had no choice but to blow up the Huayuanku of the Yellow River. This man-made flood affected 96 counties and cities, more than 500,000 square kilometers of land was submerged, and nearly one million people lost their lives. This devastating flood has become a major pain in the memory of the Chinese people. After the founding of New China, the situation did not change much. In 1950, during the flood season in Hunan and Shandong, tens of thousands of hectares of farmland were still flooded, leaving tens of thousands of people homeless. The local people are suffering from floods but are unable to change the situation. They can only let the haggard Yellow River take away their food and homes every year. So in 1954, China's Ministry of Water Resources decided to build a large reservoir to prevent and control floods. At the meeting, Soviet experts suggested building a dam in Tongguan, Shangxi, but were strongly opposed by Chinese expert Lu Guangdo. Lu Guangdo pointed out that Tongguan's terrain is dangerous and the consequences of an accident at the dam would be disastrous. After repeated comparisons and demonstrations, the experts finally decided to start the project in Sanmengxia, Hunan. Sanmengxia is located in the rapids and rapids in the middle reaches of the Yellow River and is extremely rich in water resources. In 1961, the Sanmengxia Dam was officially completed. The dam is nearly 2 kilometers long, 102 meters high, and has a water storage capacity of 39.3 billion cubic meters. The project is vast and spectacular. The construction of the dam helped significantly reduce the size and frequency of downstream flooding. There has been no dike breach in Shandong for decades, and the people here finally no longer worry about floods taking away their hard work during the flood season. At the same time, abundant irrigation water resources have increased agricultural income several times. Ordinary people are grateful that the Sanmengxia Dam ended their flood nightmare. In sharp contrast to the good news downstream, upstream Shangxi, especially Xi'an, which is severely short of water from the Sanmengxia Dam, has suffered unprecedented water shortages. The farmland in Shangxi has been drying out for years, and the people are thirsty. In 2004, Representatives from Shangxi also suggested that the Sanmengxia Reservoir should immediately stop storing water for power generation, showing the strong dissatisfaction of the people upstream. The Sanmengxia project has cured floods that have lasted for thousands of years, greatly changed the fate of Hunan and Shandong provinces, and also caused a heavy price to be paid in upstream Shangxi. It became a typical example of how large-scale water conservancy projects can bring blessings to some areas, but they can also bring disaster to others. In subsequent planning, the needs of different stakeholders must be fully considered, taking into account both upstream and downstream to achieve a win-win situation. 
Only in this way can the value of water conservancy projects be truly realized and people in all relevant areas can benefit. Sanmenxia Reservoir is located in the upper reaches of the Yellow River. Construction began in 1957 and was officially completed in 1961. The design and construction of the Sanmenxia Dam mainly relied on the guidance of Soviet experts. However, due to insufficient research on the terrain and sediment conditions of the Yellow River Basin, serious sedimentation problems were quickly exposed after the dam was built. In just two years, a large amount of siltation occurred in the upper reaches of the Weha River, and the riverbed rose by 4.5 meters. As a result, areas such as Xi'an are often hit by sedimentation and floods. In 1965, flood disasters in the Wei River Basin increased by 50% compared to before the construction of the Sanmenxia Dam. In 2003, Shangxi Province suffered the worst flood in more than 50 years. 10.8 million acres of crops in the province were affected and direct economic losses reached 8.29 billion yuan. The lives of nearly 5 million disaster victims have been severely affected, and some poor families have fallen into desperate situations. The main river channel of the Yellow River has also seen more than 3 billion cubic meters of siltation. The dam had to respond by opening sluices to discharge sand, but this passive response did not fundamentally solve the problem. By 1964, the amount of sediment in the Sanmenxia Reservoir reached 3.5 billion cubic meters, exacerbating flooding in the upstream areas. The livelihoods of residents in the upstream water storage area and the downstream areas of the Sanmenxia Reservoir have also been severely affected. Their farmland has turned into mud, their houses have been flooded, and their normal lives have been completely hindered. In 1966 and 1968, Chinese workers used a large amount of explosives to blast out two holes and four pipes at the bottom of the dam, which relieved the sedimentation pressure to a certain extent. But about 20% of the sediment is still blocked in the reservoir. In 1969, the state invested another 8 million yuan to blast eight new huge sand drainage holes at the bottom of the dam. This finally relieved the sediment pressure in the downstream areas. But the sedimentation problem in the upstream areas such as near Tongguan still has not improved. Despite two large-scale reconstructions, the sedimentation problem faced by Sanmenxia Reservoir has not been fundamentally solved and it still seriously threatens the lives and property of millions of people downstream. Many experts believe that the Sanmenxia Reservoir was an extremely costly wrong decision in Chinese history. How to truly control the sedimentation problem has become a major problem that the authorities must face and solve. After the completion of the Sanmenxia Reservoir, it was once regarded as a major engineering achievement of New China. However, the exposure of the sediment problem made people realize the serious flaws in planning, design, and construction. Some retired engineering and technical personnel recalled that under the circumstances of that year, Engineering construction was often too impatient and ignored scientific demonstration, resulting in irreparable mistakes. The repeated occurrence of sedimentation problems has also made people see the importance of scientific management and strict supervision in the construction of water conservancy projects. If the relevant departments can continuously monitor the sediment situation, in the early stages of the construction of the Sanmenxia Reservoir and respond to the siltation problem with scientific and reasonable plans, then subsequent reconstruction and losses to residents in the upstream and downstream areas may be greatly reduced. 
Some senior engineering experts pointed out that the sediment problem is not unique to the San Manxia Reservoir. Many large water conservancy projects have encountered similar difficulties in their early stages. The important thing is to learn lessons, improve design ideas, and continue to optimize in daily operations. For example, more scientific methods of sand discharge and timely dredging should be adopted. Only in this way can water conservancy projects truly play their due role. The road to sediment control in the San Manxia Reservoir reflects the inevitable pains on the road to growth for an engineering power. It is expected that future water conservancy projects can avoid unnecessary trial and error. Under the guidance of scientific planning, organically integrate ecological benefits, social benefits and economic benefits to benefit the people. In the 1950s, in order to control floods in the lower reaches of the Yellow River, China decided to build a water conservancy project in San Manxia, Hunan. After arduous efforts, the San Manxia Dam was officially completed in 1960. The effect of the dam was immediate. Flood problems in Hunan and Shandong provinces were completely solved. There have never been large-scale floods again. Farmland is no longer flooded and people can live and work in peace and contentment. Statistics show that the grain output of the two provinces increased by more than 20 million tons compared with previous years, setting a record high. Under the historical conditions at that time, the San Manxia Dam was undoubtedly a great feat in the history of water conservancy in New China. It saved the lives and property of tens of millions of people. However, the good times did not last long and problems arose during the operation of the dam a few years later. Since 1965, Shangxi province, upstream of the dam, has suffered frequent floods. By 2008, a total of 137 floods had occurred in the Weha River Basin causing direct economic losses of up to 200 billion yuan. The main reason is that the dam blocks the river, causing serious sedimentation in the upper reaches and rising water levels. For a time, public doubts about the dam arose one after another, and some even proposed blowing it up. It can be seen that the San Manxia Dam is successful in controlling floods downstream, but it also brings negative effects of flooding in the upstream areas. This reflects the limitations of the water conservancy planning at that time and did not take into account all possible impacts. We should not deny the great significance of the dam, but we need to learn lessons and make scientific planning and comprehensive considerations in the future. To this day, the issue of the San Manxia Dam has not been completely resolved, and there are still differences in evaluations of the dam. From some perspectives, the dam succeeded in curbing flooding downstream, but from another perspective, it caused flooding in the Wei River upstream. This complexity requires us to make prudent and rational judgments and cannot simply make conclusions. The construction of the San Manxia Dam was full of difficult decisions and valuable experiences and lessons were accumulated. Faced with complex water conservancy issues, we need to assess the situation, weigh the pros and cons of multiple parties, and strive to find the optimal solution. At the same time, it is also necessary to constantly summarize experience and use scientific methods to continuously improve water conservancy planning to benefit society. The construction of the San Manxia Dam is full of contradictions and controversies, but history will eventually move on. We cannot deny or beautify the past based on temporary emotions but must face problems with an open and tolerant mind based on inheriting historical wisdom. 
Dams bring about both progress and consequences, embodying wisdom and exposing blind spots. History is not perfect, but history is still valuable. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.